welcome to the 2009 AFTA Awards. And now, please welcome the Mistress of Ceremonies, Karen LeBlanc. Thank you very much. It is my distinct pleasure to emcee this prestigious awards program, honoring excellence in the public transportation industry. It is truly an honor for me to be here today. It's not every day that I get to meet leaders of the public transportation industry who have helped to provide 10.7 billion passenger trips last year. That's the highest amount in 52 years and a modern ridership record. However, <laughs> however, your industry not only moves people, it also helps the economy and the environment by creating green jobs and by reducing carbon emissions by 37 million metric tons a year. Additionally, every year, 4.2 billion gallons of gasoline are saved thanks to public transportation. And all of you are certainly doing your part to help our country meet its national goal of energy independence. The results of the work that you do are impressive. And you should all be proud of the contributions that you make to our quality of life. And now, before we begin our program to celebrate and honor the 2009 APTA Awards, I want to first thank and honor our longtime sponsor of this year's awards ceremony. His sponsorship of the APTA Awards program this year and for many years earlier is much appreciated by everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a round of applause for our sponsor, GFI Genfair, a division of SPX Corporation and its president, Kim Green. This year's award winners are individuals and organizations who have demonstrated outstanding accomplishments, leadership, dedication, and commitment to advancing public transportation. To begin the awards presentation, let me introduce Al Har, chair of the 2009 Awards Committee. He has a few introductory remarks. Mr. Har, if you could please approach the stage. <laughs> The final APTA award is the 2009 Outstanding Public Transportation Manager Award. This award is given to an APTA public transportation manager who has made outstanding contributions to the public transportation industry. This year, the 2009 Outstanding Public Transportation Manager is John Cato. General Manager of Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. In the past nine months, John Cato has faced the two biggest challenges of his career and demonstrated his leadership. A fatal train accident in June 2009 proved to be the ultimate test. The initial findings of that investigation will have implications for the rest of the industry. John is determined to find a solution so that all public transit systems will be even safer than they already are. And in January 2009, the largest presidential inauguration in modern history occurred in Washington, D.C. On that day, Metro provided 17 hours of rush hour service, more than 1.5 million trips. For many people, it was their first experience using public transportation. Presenting the award is Al Harf, Executive Director for Potomac. And Ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite all of the award winners to come to stage for the final round of applause for our 2009 APTA Awards. They truly are models of excellence, excellence in public transit, public transportation. They are the best of the best. <laughs> 